Hello everyone, it's Shibana Amit again. We'll be starting with the name of God. Continuation of chapter 5, more on word. We'll be learning some more features on word. This is the last part of this chapter. Inserting symbols is the first feature we are going to look at today is symbols. Actually, most of the symbols are present on the keyboard, but sometimes we need to use other symbols that are not found on keyboard. We can insert them by selecting symbols from the symbols group on the insert tab. As you can see, over here there are many symbols. I'll be showing you how we can insert them, but before that, I'll be showing you inserting equations as well, which helps students for mathematical typing. And the next thing which is page breaks and section breaks. Page breaks enables us to tell the computer where the next page should start. And the section break enables us to create sections on the same page in addition to moving to the next page. We can insert section breaks on the same page and on the next page as well. Adding footnotes and endnotes. Footnotes and endnotes contains additional details related to the text of a document. Footnote is placed at, at the bottom of the document, while endnote is placed at the very end of the document, once. They, are, they both are going to be inserted at the end of the document, but footnotes are placed at the end of every page and endnotes are placed at the very end of the document once. Then previewing the document, as you know, when we print something, we need to preview it for better results. Preview means to view something before making it available to others. It enables us to spot errors to correct them. We can preview a document by selecting print preview from the quick access toolbar. We can see the print preview by pressing CTRL plus F2 key. These are the shortcut keys which will be making available preview of the page to you. Then last, changing paper size and source. By default, the printer is set to print on A4 size paper. It's already setting there for you, but you can change it. Print on different size papers. Select print from file tab or press CTRL plus P. Let's see how does these things work for you. All right, it's MS Word document right there in front of you. We'll be inserting symbols first, then I'll be telling you inserting equations. Insert tab over here, symbols. There are many symbols. You can just add up any symbols you want to. There are more symbols, which are Greek and Arabic letters are there for you as well. If you are in need of any symbol, you can add up from here. Arabic letters are there for you as well. So it's totally up to you. According to your needs, you can add up your symbols from Symbols tab, insert tab, symbols go. Then we'll be looking at equations. These, these things are helping students for typing maths actually. Over here, equations, the sample of equations given to you already. If you want to find out the area of a circle, just over here. It's there for you. You can add up any other um, as well. Formulas and equations are there for you. There are many other options for you. If you want to add fractions, there are different formats available for you. You can choose according to your needs. 
if you're adding up over here in the same equation, you can do different as well. This is script, superscript and subscript. It's actually some day students find it difficult to raise to the power things, they find it difficult to add up. So over here they are available for you. You can pick any format, any number you can write over here. X raised to the power. Just like this, you can add up other as well. And if you want to remove it, you can just backspace. The radicals there for you. Common radicals are there as well. You can take any equation as such. Integrals. Single or double or triple. You can add up. And look at them side by side. There are many things like brackets, all types of brackets, along with their separators. Sine theta, cos tan, and their inverse as well. Accent, accents are there. Tail sign, some, sometimes students find it difficult to write, you can take it from here. And limits are there, common functions with their limits, and they, along with their formulas, they are available for you. Operators, different types of operators along with their structures, you can find any according to your needs. There are metrics as well. Matrices, dots, identity matrix. The empty boxes are there along with parallel bonds as well. So, it's appearing over here. One more thing which I wanted to touch is over here, ink equation, ink equation. For that, I'll be first removing this. What does that mean? Insert that equation is giving you op an option, ink equation. And you can write your equation over here just as such. It will be available for you. It's formatting the words which you are writing over here. It's formatting it by itself. Yes, now it's going as I want it to be. Fine, and then sign x. Nobody, it will be adjusting the letters side by side for you. You need a little bit of practice in it, as I'm not having it myself. So that's it. Insert. It's there for you. This is what I wanted to look like. That's that was actually inserting symbols and equations. All right. Now I'll be showing you something about page breaks and section breaks. Page breaks, as you know, they tell the computer where the next page should start, which means the normal length of the page which is the default length is over here. The next page is com coming afterwards, which means the length of the page is 8.5 by 11. You can change it if you want to appear over here. The next page will be starting from here if you insert page breaks. Like you need to go to this layout tab, on those breaks over here, page breaks, and then section breaks.
you have a, just break the page according to your need and it's shorter now previously it was a long a bit long and then add section breaks with, with the next section you want to start you can start it from the next page okay the next page is there and then continuous page will be continued in the same manner section breaks are actually even page or page for the long documents they are there for you but you can see them if you are you have inserted the page numbers before that so we'll be doing we need to first insert page numbers it will be easy for you to identify them as you have done even section breaks it has taken you to the even page by itself and if you are going for the other option which was over here odd page it has taken you to the odd page which is page five that's how it does work and then i'll be showing you footnotes and endnotes so, uh, to insert footnote and endnotes, we need to go to this references tab. Over here, these are the options. Insert endnote. It will be appear to you over here. You can write anything. And its reference has been placed over here by itself. Just for the looking at it, it's showing you the end note. What does it all about? It means it, it, the first end note is giving you the reference and telling you that what was there in that end note. It helps the readers. To understand about the end note this, this, this is called the reference and if we talk about next over here footnotes footnotes are they appear at the end of each page or at the end of the document you can just write any related information in that as well and uh, if we Insert our footnotes. You can write anything related information for the readers, and it will be giving the reference by itself. As over here, it has changed. Right, right was actually reference. Let me bring our person over this. Be appearing like this. This is called a print page. It will be adding up its references by itself. Once you click on the right place, it will be showing you the right reference. So, after inserting footnotes and endnotes, we'll be looking at Review, print reviews, which helps us to print the document. File over here, print option. It's showing you the document. You can see all pages one by one and do their settings and go from here. Number of copies you can add up according to your requirement. Your properties, print all pages if you want the whole document to be printed. Print one-sided or double-sided. 
manually or both sides you can pick any then it's collated collated is actually making sets of your document if you want the first title page three first pages then second pages then third pages it is uncollated and if you are making their sets like first page then second and third and afterwards again for first page and then second and then third this is collated so it, it's totally up to you if you want to make sets of your documents you can make from here by using these options one page per sheet up to you four pages per sheet you can change them as well these are the uh, one more thing over here portrait orientation landscape orientation as right there in front of you it's portrait you can change it into landscape you, you have you must have noticed the difference between these two and this is the actual size of the paper which is default size 8.5 by 11. you can change it if you want a bigger print from your printer there are more page paper size options as well you can select according to your needs this was all about changing paper size and source after this changing paper size and source this is the last picture we have looked today these are the two questions and that's all from my side thank you so much for watching That's it. Thank you.